Marin SA contractor Edward Snowden says he wants a fair trial in the U.S. He's been living in exile in Moscow since 2013 after leaking top secret government documents. He opens up about his decision in a new memoir titled Permanent Record. Earlier, he spoke with CBS this morning about the day he landed in Russia and his life since then. Well, this is actually um, a big scene in the book as soon as I landed. Uh, and, and for the audience that may be less familiar with the story, uh, it was never my intention to be in Russia. I, I was actually transiting en route to Latin America. Um, the United States government, for some reason, we don't know whether it was intentionally to create kind of an evergreen political attack uh, against me, guilt by association of being able to point to the, the Russian government, um, or they, they simply panicked when they saw uh, that I might be what they considered escaping. Um, they canceled my passport, and that went, when I landed, I, I could no longer travel. Uh, so I get pulled out of passport control and brought into a room, and yes, directly, the Russian intelligence service is like, uh, you know, do you want to cooperate? Do you have any information? Life's going to be very hard if you have no one on your side. And I said, look, uh, you know, that's not how this is going to be. That's not how this is going to work. I don't have any information. You can search my bag if you want, because I destroyed my information before I got on the plane. Um, and I think that was uh, probably what they expected, because remember, there's about 4,000 journalists downstairs uh, looking for me in this airport at the moment. I'm on every TV channel, I'm on every uh, newspaper, uh, and I was just trying to continue on my journey uh, into asylum. Now, the, the reason that you know this actually happened, uh, because you might be skeptical, you might go, well, the Russians are just going to let this guy go. Um, Russia has, uh, shall we say, a problematic human rights record uh, at a minimum. Um, that's if we're being generous. Now, when we look at uh, the opportunities that they have to do the right thing on the international stage, it seems pretty few and far between. Um, but here's a circumstance where they don't have to do anything to do the right thing. Uh, all they have to do is not hand me over. But even despite that, even the fact that Russia was uh, probably the hardest place in the world for the CIA to operate. Uh, I didn't go, all right, this is great, you know, let me out of the airport. Uh, I was stuck in that airport for 40 days. I Do you have concerns, Edward, that, that Russia is monitoring your actions today? Do you think that they're gathering intelligence on you? Because the optics, as we sit here in America, looking at you in Russia, yeah. you know, the optics are not good. No, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, again, and I'm on the same side uh, on this issue. Then why not, you, why not come uh, home, Mr. <laughs> you know, one of, the, one of the big topics in Europe right now uh, is should Germany and Grant, France uh, invite me in uh, to get asylum? Uh, that's how they're handling the response uh, to, to this, uh, this new book. Um, but when you look at that kind of thing, uh, yeah, of, of course it's problematic, and of course uh, I would like to return to the United States. That is the ultimate goal. Uh, but if I'm going to spend the rest of my life in prison, the one bottom line demand that we all have to agree to is that at least I get a fair trial. And that is the one thing the government has refused uh, to guarantee because they won't provide access to what's called a public interest defense. But this Mr. Is Snowden, where, look, in all, in all due, uh, you and I are talking respect, about this right now. Go ahead. Mr. Snowden, in all, in all due respect, uh, criminals and alleged criminals don't customarily get to decide the terms of their trial. They broke the law and they face the consequences. What makes you different? Well, I'm not different. Uh, again, I'm not asking for a parade. I'm not asking for a pardon. I'm not asking for a pass. Uh, what I'm asking for is a fair trial. And this is the bottom line that any American should require, right? We don't want people thrown in prison without the jury being able to decide whether what they did was right or wrong. The government wants to have a different kind of trial. Uh, they want to use special procedures. They want to be able to close the courtroom. They want the public not to be able to go know what's going on. And essentially, the most important fact to the government, and this is the thing we have a point of contention on uh, is that they do not want the jury to be able to consider the motivations, why I did what I did. Was it better for the United States? Did it benefit us or did it cause harm? They don't want the jury to consider that at all. They want the jury strictly to consider whether these actions were lawful or unlawful, not whether they were right or wrong. And I'm sorry, but that defeats the purpose of a jury trial.